Breaking news, breaking news. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. This is uh, very, very good stuff. We got some stuff on the uh, the Patsy Bomber. So what, what I'm about to show you is a police body cam that's uh, been published by Palm Beach Post, a publication apparently in Florida on September 1st, 2018. Boca Raton police received a call about a man sleeping in a van in a parking lot outside in L.A. Fitness at uh, 49... Five zero technical, what is this? Techni technology way. The officers approached the Trump stickered van and found Caesar Syak, the suspect in the mailing of the bombs to prominent Democrats and critics of Donald Trump. Okay, so this is the guy, Caesar Syak, the one that we've that we've seen all the videos of him jumping in the ocean and and all the other pictures of him in his van. You see the whole thing. I can't believe this fucking video. We got this video, right? So watch the whole video all the way through. And he's going to he's going to be approached by two police. He's going to he's going to throw out so much information, so much data, so much metadata on the record, right? He's going to tell you where he worked, what he was doing, who he is. It totally totally debunks Ronald Lowy. As I said, Ronald Lowy is the Democratic operative in this case, who he that's essentially the the uh, the guy who comes in and tries to steer the the uh, conversation into the ditch. Ronald Lowy said um, said he's very uh, that uh, say Caesar Syak is emotionally immature, intellectually immature, a fourteen year old in adult body. None of it ma makes sense. Watch what you're gonna see. All right, so watch the video. Right, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to break it down piece by piece. I got a lot here, so we'll we'll let's let's um, we'll look at each piece. But but I think it's it's uh, proper. I saw it in context. Watch it all the way through, and you'll see. Try to catch as much as you can, and then when I break it down, you'll see even more. You see, he's he's looking at this, and he's like, yeah, he's you see him. He's sitting. He's got his arm down. And just. Now 46. Now 36. 46, can you show myself in 47? We're going to be out with a 13 vehicle at uh, LA Fitness. Uh, so Bravo Lima. Golf 4, Bravo Lima, Romeo, the Florida tag, G, 4B, LR. It's a white van, one person's inside. He can see us, we're ready to go. 446 and 47 show you out with a 13 vehicle. I leave it as 8 Hey, you alright, buddy? Yes, sir. Uh, listen, someone I called and they were concerned about you. Uh, I just got done uh, working up at the uh, at nightclub. Ultra nightclub. Yeah, I work till six o'clock. Okay. And I, uh, part of LA Fitness, I was going to go here and then I have to go back to work. So you were working out at LA Fitness? Can't hear you. No, I'm, I'm working out at okay. LA Fitness and then I'm going uh, back up to work in about, uh, what time going to be there? By 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yes, sir. Okay. So we just resting over here because I saw you sitting here for a while and kind of. Yeah. 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 No, I was, <laughs> so we were I was so tired. I worked this morning because uh, I'm from the Seminole Hard Rock. Oh, and gotcha. Daytime, and then I work ultra at night, and then I work uh, DJ today at two o'clock. Okay. Uh, I go up there, and then I go to work all the way to six a.m. Wow. Yeah, and then I work uh, again in LA uh, at um, uh, Seminole Hard Rock at uh, twelve o'clock, and work till nine o'clock. Then I gotta come back to Ultra. So are you done working out? Or are you just getting ready to work out? So you had your no, little Celsius? Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work out now. Okay. Yeah, I just got done. I mean, it was a long night. Where is Ultra, anyways? Ultra is off of uh, Southern. Oh, okay, it's up there. Southern by the uh -huh. prison up there, West Palm oh, okay. Beach prison, okay. right across the street from. All right. Well, it used to be T's, right? Yeah, it's T's. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like a like a rave or something like that, Ultra. No, no, no. I think in Miami. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So I've been working with them for a long okay. time. So. Hey, listen, you have your ID on you? Yes, I should. Can I get that from you? Second. How do you like working at Ultra? Oh, I love it. I've been, you know, in the gentleman's club for. Uh, DJ and I work at the front door. Uh, so you can do the DJ voice. Oh well, yeah, I do the DJ. Uh, it's a, uh, All the DJs in the circles have the same voice. Right? Oh yeah, 
this one. We got this day. This thing on the main stage. And then I worked the door on uh, Friday. Now 46 uh, to Chelsea. Here, Claire. Alpha 46 on two. You run a uh, 29P DL check. Uh, it's going to be on a white mail. Uh, I'll give you his DL number. It's Florida DL of uh, Sierra. Seven zero. This is, is a, yeah, I guess you're a Trump uh, supporter, is that what it is? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Are, we, are you part of the Seminole? Uh, uh? Seminole, yes. Okay. James Bill is my relative. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You know uh, Billy, right? Who's that? He's a... Uh, Glaciolo. Yeah. You know, James, Chief James Bill. Yeah, he's a uh, top dog, Seminole. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I do all the productions and a lot of stuff, you know, with them for a long time. Okay. So working hard. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on down there with... Uh, with the uh, casino. Well, we window. got the, that. It's a $1.8 billion uh, project we just finished up. I yeah. did promotions also uh, for the Summer Hard Rock. Uh, a lot of live entertainment and stuff yeah. for a long time. And uh, I, can hear the I can hear the voice coming out. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it coming out. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I've been, you know, I've been working uh, gosh, about 104, 108 hours a week. Wow. Yeah. So, I've been so you got LA Fitness is since 2000. Uh, you go like to the circuit of LA yeah, Fitness? All of them, yeah. Open okay. Park, you basically work out. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you? You show it just before 2993 has a metal license. Yeah. Especially at Mount Pierre. Can you just forward that uh, 14 to my DJ? I appreciate it. To Open Park and uh, Halloween. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, come yeah. see me. I'm Caesar. Caesar, yeah, man. You're a yeah. good guy. Yeah, you guys come man, down man, anytime. Don't kill yourself like that, man. Like, you gotta sleep in, just make sure you're sleeping, dude, you know? Yeah. Like, I can see you, just, you're looking like tired, man. Oh yeah, because I work, I work, you know, around the clock. Yeah, man, you're running yourself <laughs> ragged, dude. You know, on the, <laughs> still going to work on that and pass it out, dude. Yeah, I make all my, all my, uh, my cousins and relatives, he's a sheriff, uh, Sayak. He's in, uh, Kissimmee, Florida. Okay. He's a sheriff up there, so. Right, man. Be safe, dude. Take care, man. Thank you, gentlemen. Be good. Appreciate it. Drive safe, all right? You got your time. You don't want to. Yes, all right, take care, man. So he's he's looking at this and he's like, yeah, he's you see him, he's sitting, he's got his arm out. He just now forty six. Now thirty six. Forty six. Can you show myself in forty seven? We're gonna be out with a thirteen vehicle at uh, LA Fitness. Uh, Golf four Bravo Lima. Golf four Bravo Lima. Romeo, the Florida tag, G, 4B, LR, it's a white van, one person's inside. He can see us, there you go. This is 446 and 47, show you out with a 13 vehicle, LA Fitness, 852. Hey, you alright buddy? Yes sir. So it's pretty harmless so far, right? You saw the, you see the two police, they approach the van. And you saw that swing by of the van. The side of the van, uh, an observation, is that the, the below the actual windows, you see this other sticker. This other kind of sticker, right? It has information on it. It doesn't seem to be, I tried to read it. I tried to freeze the frame. But it's just, let's just say that it's something else is on the side of that van, right? What is that information? Is it a sticker? Well, if it's a sticker, then if you peeled that sticker off the van, wouldn't it take the paint off? Right? I mean, just an observation, right? We haven't even, at this point, you've already seen the whole video, but, but you haven't, let's just pretend that you haven't seen it. Up to this point, that's the information there. We see a swing by, the cop's body cam shows you the side of the van. And someone has also pointed out that, look, in, look at the, the, um, the targets on Hillary Clinton's face, on uh, um, 
Michael Moore's face, right? It's likely that he could have changed his stickers or he could have added stickers and taken away stickers. So I'm not buying the idea that there's two vans. Let's just move forward as, as if this is the van and that there is discrepancies in the stickers. One is a sticker that was below the window. And the other is that there seems to be an absence of some of the targets on some of the prominent Democrats on the bottom row, right? Where, where Michael Moore is, where the CNN sucks, uh, part is right so those are just some preliminary observations as they approach right so they're approaching from both sides right and they're saying that they're going to they ask him they're going to ask him someone called in and was concerned about you all right they never say who it was who called in so let's continue to watch uh listen someone i called and they were concerned about you uh, i just got done uh working up at um at nightclub Ultra nightclub. Yeah, I work till six o'clock. Okay. And I, uh, part of LA Fitness, I was going to go here and then I have to go back to work. So you were working out at LA Fitness? Can't hear you. No, I'm, I'm working out at okay. LA Fitness and then I'm going uh, back up to work in about, uh, I'm going to be there by 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yes, sir. Okay. So you just resting over here because they saw you sitting here for a while and kind of. Yeah. 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 No, I, was, <laughs> so we I was so tired. I worked this morning because uh, I'm from the Seminole Hard Rock. Oh, and gotcha. Daytime, and then I work ultra at night, and then I work uh, DJ today at two o'clock. Okay. Uh, I go up there, and then I go to work all the way to six a.m. Wow. Yeah, and then I work uh, again at LA uh, at. Uh, so right there, there's a lot of information, right? He, he said again, the cop says someone someone called someone called and was concerned about you. Not a big deal, right? There's also going to be a license plate. I'll throw this one in. You'll hear it. I think you already heard it. G4BIR, Florida plate, all right? Now, he's in a parking lot in LA Fitness, right? There's a lot of LA Fitnesses. I couldn't get a, I don't know which one he's in. It doesn't really matter. I don't know. It, it could matter. If someone can identify where he is in that video, that would be uh, helpful too. I haven't been able to do that. He throws out a, a place that he works. It's called Ultra it's also called T's, right? It's at 3, uh, 312 South Congress Avenue, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33406. All the information that I'm throwing, I'm dumping down below. So you can go in and see it. UltraLoungePalmBeach.com uh, is the website. You can go there. It's, it's legitimate. So he says that he's parked in an LA, LA fitness parking lot, right? There's a lot of those, so I, I'm not able to figure out which one it is. And that he's saying so far that he works at Ultra, also known as T's, off Southern Boulevard, right? And that's the, I found that to be the address right there, right? It's Congress Avenue. So, so, so far he's very articulate. He's, he, does he seem like a 14 year old? Am I right when I say that, that Ronald Lowy, the, the guy, the lawyer that's surrounding the, uh, the family right now is very reminiscent of how Democratic operatives or Republic, whoever, some operative moves in, surrounds the family. It's identical to the way it occurred with the Seth Rich case, where, where they try to steer the conversation away from the, the evidence, and, and it becomes more about spycraft. He's in, he's emotionally unstable. He's intellectually unstable. He's got the mind of a 14-year-old. So let's keep watching. Uh, seven hard rock at uh, twelve o'clock, then work till nine o'clock. <laughs> then I got to come back to Ultra. So are you done working out? You just getting ready to work out? So you had your no, little Celsius? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out now. Okay. Yeah, I just got done. I mean, it was a long night. <laughs> so very articulate, hard working. He threw out uh, another address, right? It's Seminole Hard Rock. Right, the Hard Rock Cafe, the center in Florida, Hollywood, Florida. Right, uh, again, the information down below. One Seminole Way, Hollywood, Florida, three 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 one four. The and I gave you the phone number down below. Right, so this is you got to get off your ass, people. If you're in Florida, help us figure the shit out, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's you go in and knock. You could go at this point. You can go. Don't say, "Oh, I'm investigating a fucking you know a, a Patsy Bomber case." You go in there and you see if it's legitimate. Right? Does anybody know? Hey, I heard you guys fucking. Hey, oh shit, man! You guys know the fucking bomber guy? Oh man, I heard he was a. I heard he was a fucking dancer and a DJ here. 
right? That's how you do it, right? So he, he's talking, he's thrown out a lot of info, uh, right? So, so far we're, we're LA Fitness, he's in the parking lot, he's going, to, he's going to pump iron. He looks like a muscle guy, right? So that's, that makes sense. He works at Ultra and, and the uh, Seminole Hard Rock Cafe as a, as a promoter, as a DJ, as a, uh, a, a doorman, I believe. Yeah, he works the front door. The, he's a DJ and he works at the front door. Very articulate, hardworking guy. Does not meet the MO of Ronald Lowy, the guy speaking on his behalf, right? Right? Or the videos we've seen of him jumping in the water, his articulation at the microphone. He's not an idiot. The guy is not is not a um, he's not what they're saying he is. Like he's, they tried to paint him as a as an incompetent fool, a blundering idiot, you know, a homeless guy, poor. He's not right. This guy's got four jobs. He's got more jobs than the fucking police got. Right? Let's keep going. Where is Ultra, anyways? Ultra is off of uh, Southern. Oh, okay, it's up there. So the, by the uh -huh. prison up there, West oh, okay. Beach prison, okay. right across the street from. All right. Well, it used to be T's, right? Yeah, it's T's. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a like a rave or something like that, Ultra. No, no, no. in Miami. Yeah, that's not the. That's not the. So I've been working with them for a long okay. time. Okay. So that's very good information. You see what the police are doing? They're quizzing him, right? They know where fucking what they know the clubs and the, the addresses that's what they do so they're sitting in there they're 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 quizzing him to see if he's if his story checks out right do you work at ultra where is that by the way where did you ever hear of ultra i never heard of ultra you fuck, you, of course you've heard of it right so they're quizzing him to see if his story matches up if he's not some other guy from outside of the community so this is this is very powerful evidence that he is, uh, in fact, all of the things that he says he is. If this is staged, I don't think so. I think this is uh, about as real as you can get. This guy was set up. <laughs> That's what I say, right? I mean, all right, so, so the police are quizzing him back and forth, right? They're quizzing him. They're, they're trying to valid, va verify the information that he's spilling out about about where where he's working out la fitness where he works uh seminal hard rock cafe he also threw out another name dj today as a, a place of employment ultra ultra also known as tees all right so there's all this data coming out also in the in the it, the, the van the van itself isn't as revealing it doesn't there's no you know fucking fuses and bombs you know materials i've if you study the van and you study the swing buys you don't learn much about the inside of the van but you learn a lot about the guy right the guy is not it's he's not a wacko right he's an articulate you know well-spoken polite you know courteous right keeps his hands where the police can see him all right let's keep going Hey, listen, do you have your ID on you? Yes, I Can I get that from you? Second. How do you like working at Ultraman? Oh, I love it. I've been, you know, in the gentleman's club DJ for... DJ over there? Uh, DJ, and I work at the front door. Uh, so you can do the DJ voice. Oh, yeah, I do the DJ... Uh, the, uh, All the DJs in the circles have the same voice, man. Oh, yeah. Right, that's that's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got this thing. This thing on the main stage. <laughs> and then I work the door on uh, Friday. Now 46, uh, the Chelsea. Clear. Alpha 46 on two. Okay. You're running a 29P DL check. Uh, it's going to be on a white male. Uh, I'll give you his DL number. It's Florida DL of uh, Sierra. Seven zero. This is, is a, yeah, I guess you're a Trump uh, supporter. Is that what it is? Yes, sir. Okay. So the cop takes his ID, and he runs. He runs the ID. He runs the, the you know, he runs his ID through through the radio, right? Now, if if the guy is a, a fugitive, 
if the guy is a dangerous felon, right, they would, after they've gotten that information, they would begin to approach him differently, right? So he's not, he's not a fugitive. He's not wanted. There's no warrants, right? There's no, he's not a, a predicate felon because they would be approaching him a lot different once they find out that information, right? Because he could be dangerous. He could, you know, he could reach for a gun. None of that happens. So the police run his his driver's license. It's all it's 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 all validating the fact that he's a real person. He's a he's not a a plant, right? He works there. If we have to go and, and look at all these places, if there's people down there in Florida, I, I mean I suspect that it's all legitimate, right? So let's keep going. Yeah. Are, we, are you part of the Seminole? Uh, uh? Seminole, yes. Okay. James Bill is my relative. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You know uh, Billy, right? Who's that? He's uh, a... Yeah. You know, James, James Bill. Yeah, he's a uh, top dog, Seminole. Seminole. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, I do all the productions and a lot of stuff, you know, with them for a long time. Okay. So. Working hard. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on down there with... Uh, with the uh, casino. Well, we got the, that. It's a $1.8 billion uh, project we just finished up. I yeah. did promotions also uh, for the Seminole Hard Rock. Uh, a lot of live entertainment and stuff yeah. for a long time. And uh, I, can hear the I can hear the voice coming out. Yeah. I hear it coming out. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I've been, yeah, I've been working, uh, gosh, about 104, 108 hours a week. Wow. Yeah. So I've been That's what LA Fitness is since 2000. Uh, you go like to the circuit of LA yeah, Fitness? All of them, yeah. Oh. Oakland Park, you basically work out. Man. Yeah. Yeah. What's the word? Oh, did you? 2009 Times 3 has a metal license. Yeah. 10 4, can you just forward that uh, 14 to my DJ? I appreciate it. To Oakland Park and uh, Hollywood. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, come yeah. see me. I'm Caesar. Caesar, yeah, man. You're a yeah. good guy. Yeah, you guys come yeah, down here. Don't kill yourself like that, man. Like, you gotta sleep in, just make sure you're sleeping, dude, you know? Yeah. Cause, dude, I can see you just, you're just looking like tired, man. Oh yeah, because I work, I worked, you know, around the clock. Yeah, man, you're running your yeah. self ragged, dude. Yeah. You don't wanna... <laughs> I still want to work on that and pass it out, dude. Yeah, I make all my get out my uh, my cousins and relatives. He's a sheriff, uh, Sayak. He's in uh, Kissimmee, Florida. Okay. He's a sheriff up there, so right, man, be safe, dude. Take care, man. Thank you, gentlemen. Be good. Appreciate I drive safe, right? You got your time. You don't wanna. Yes, sir. All right, take care, man. Okay, another wealth of information. So he says that he was at LA Fitness since 2000. So he's been he's been working out there for 18 years, right? That's what he said. Let's try to find out if that's legitimate. In regards to um, his his comment, Sh uh, Sheriff Syak, a cousin relative. At this point, it's it's advised don't go to law enforcement. Don't just try to find out the data at the locations that he's that he's fingering which is la fitness Sem seminal hard rock dj today ultra right ultra he worked the front door he was a dj worked the front door stay away from the sheriff right um so the van let's talk about the van there's a lot of sweeps the police sweep across the van right so does the van, do the stickers match the stickers of the van that they got before? It doesn't matter. Does it really matter? It's, it is the van, right? And he is apparently living in that van. See, the police were happy. They were comfortable with their interrogation of him. He wasn't a dangerous person. He wasn't a crazy person. He wasn't sick. He wasn't, there was no reason whatsoever to apprehend that guy. I don't know if it's illegal to sleep in a van but about that's about all he was guilty of doing he wasn't intoxicated he wasn't slurring he was just a hard-working guy as the cop said and he was and he was tired right so so again the the, the summation again we advance the ball slowly in this right because we're all we are all we have to solve the mystery right so ronald lowey again is the is the fucking he's the guy right he's the guy that's going to speak and try to tradecraft swing the discussion away from the facts 
the facts don't match, you know, the rug doesn't match the curtains, right? For lack of a better expression, right? He's not a crazy guy. He's a hardworking, what appears to be a decent guy, right? Well-spoken. His Whether he's an Indian, or an Italian, a Russian, I know there's a lot of speculation, but it doesn't matter. The guy, There he is, right? There is the guy, right? And he's not in the ocean, you know, unst, unst. He's there's the guy, the articulate guy in front of the police, right? Now, there's no evidence of, of anything of a, uh, they didn't search the van, so, right? There, there was no search. There was no f further investigation. Is this guy suspicious of something? No, he's just suspicious of sleeping in his van, right? That's all we got right now, so... So the Patsy theory, again, it pans out. Is he a CIA operative, a plant, uh, a, a some kind of sleeper cell? I don't think so. I think that if you find out LA Fitness, Seminole Hard Rock, if you go to these places, and as that, as that information starts to come out, you'll see that he was just a Florida resident, right? That's my, that's my two cents so far. So... Keep going through it. Kindly post your comments, your your uh, perception on what we have here. I think it's big. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.